our society today, the black race has contributed greatly to the music scene. Jazz, blues, and even rock music had their beginnings with black musicians. But the Negro was a newcomer to the world of music. More than 150 years ago, black music developed a distinctive style known as the spiritual, which has, in, has gained enduring popularity. A slave had only one hope of reward in his harsh environment, and that was a heavenly reward. One of the most beautiful of all the spirituals, and probably our favorite, is Deep River. We hope you enjoy it too. certainly prove it. Ladies and gentlemen, here's Fred's folk to waltz their way through Bella Bimba. Oh, oh, oh. 
get the impression from our earlier numbers on our program that folk music is something which is old. On the contrary, folk music is never old, but is always growing. Today, more than ever, folk musicians are enjoying a kind of universal popularity that only the mass media can make possible. Names like Bob Dylan, Gordon Lightfoot, Joni Mitchell, and Simon and Garfunkel are just a few of the hundreds of current folk musicians whose songs, as well as their names, are household words. Tonight we have selected one of Simon and Garfunkel's most moving pieces. It is our pleasure to present Scarborough Fair. I spoke earlier of the mistreatment of the blacks 
during the early periods of North American life. But the Negroes weren't the only race or minority to suffer the degradation of slavery. In the Deep South, the Creole Indians also suffered this humiliation. Torn from a life linked exceedingly close with nature, the Creoles valued freedom to an extent we can hardly understand. Perhaps this song can help us. Ladies and gentlemen, Debbie Leonard is the soloist in La La.
plays an integral part in Canadian music history. As a tribute to these great pioneers, we now present Vive la Canadienne. Thank you very much to all of you. 